hello everybody in this video i'll be speaking about this google data analytics certification course nowadays this course is so much popular among the people who want to make a transition into the data analytics profile or want to become a business analyst so you can see these numbers onto my screen so around close to around 7 lakh people have already enrolled into this course and the average rating of this course is 4.8 also one more fact this course is one of the top most highest rated course onto the course era platform so you can see how much uh, popular is this course of the brand name associated with this course that is google so in this video i'll be giving my honest reviews about whether you should definitely pursue this course or not that might help you to decide uh, whether to take the certification course or not and also at the end of this video i'll be giving the best tips which you should follow if you want or you are pursuing this course to make the best out of your time you will be spending on to this course and also i'll be giving the alternatives to this course at the end of this video which you can try to explore uh, those courses also and then try to make a decision whether which course is best suited for you so friends let us start the video and let's move to my screen so friends i am at the course era website so for the google data analytics certification course and i'll be giving the link to this uh, website into the description box of this video so you can go and check out uh, the certification course now let us get an overview of uh, about this particular course so you can see uh, it would take approximately six months to complete uh, this course and the suggested pace is about 10 hours per week but you can definitely uh, google has told somewhere uh, below that you can see at under 10 hours per week you can complete the certificate in less than six months so definitely you can uh, take your own time so if you are somebody who is uh, who is uh, who learns things very much quickly so you can definitely complete this course before six months also but google recommends you to take this course and it would take around six months to take this course now let us get about what you will be gaining from this course so google will be teaching into this course so you'd be ga gaining an immersive understanding of the practices and the processes used by a junior or an associate data analyst so you will get an overview about what does a data analyst job looks like and they, they would be teaching all the concepts with respect to the job perspective so you this course would make you job ready after you have completed this course now let us look at the second points about the technologies which they will be going to teach so understanding how to clean and organize data for analysis and complete analysis and calculations using spreadsheet sql and friends i have talked about this into my data analyst roadmap video also so uh, you would need to learn a spreadsheet or microsoft excel you would need to learn a programming language and definitely sql you need to learn also you they'll be teaching some visualization tools such as tableau and from those visualizations you need to get out some business perspective ideas that would help you to make some business driven data driven decisions so you'll be learning these all things into this course i'll be uh, speaking about the courses which they'll be teaching into this particular certification program and uh, into much more detail and let us get some bit of overview about what all course talks about so the very first course is data data everywhere so in this course they'll be just be introducing about the world of data analytics about how does a data analyst uh, junior data analyst jobs look like so you'll be gaining an understanding and practices and processes used by a junior data analyst you'll be learning the key analytical skills so you need to have some analytical skills to become a good data analyst so in this particular first course they'll be, be giving a bit of overview over the data cleaning data analysis data visualization techniques and the tools with which they use uh, regularly so those are spreadsheet sql r and the other things so into the first course they'll be teaching you all these things now the second course they'll be teaching you how to ask questions to make data driven decisions so with respect respect to data analysis you need to provide some good business insights that would help you to drive the business of the company which you are working for so uh, the data analyst job is to get the business insights get the good data analysis 
do a good data analysis and get some good insight so in this course you will be gaining an understanding of the data driven decision making of how a data analyst find these all things and you will be exploring the various real world business scenarios this is the very good part about the second course now the third part is the uh, prepare data for exploration so friends data analysis the most important thing which you require is the data now from particular data come from and how to prepare the data the right data the exactly the data which the customer needs the insights which you want to generate from the data set which you will be generating so in this course they'll be teaching about how to structure and unstructured data uh, and about how analysts decide which is the right data for them to make a good data analysis and explore how analysts use spreadsheets and sql to generate some uh, bits now let us move to the course number four and this is my one of the most interesting topic which most of the beginner data analysts they don't know and that is about the data which you have processed that is exactly not the data on data set on which you'll be do, doing the visualization or the doing the analysis so you need to clean the data restructure the data and give it a good amount of the correct data points so that you can make a good analysis on the data set so friends in this particular course they'll be teaching about processing data from dirty to clean data so you will be having dirty data and then you will be learning how to process the dirty data which you are having into a clean data so there might be cases where let's say uh, duplicates are present into your database or the database uh, or the datas are not very much aligned into a good uh, sequence or manner so friends you will be learning all these techniques here and develop basic sql queries for you onto database you'll be learning sql also here and you'll be getting a basic understanding of sql also and also how sql is used to generate good uh, data analysis now into the course five they'll be teaching on how to analyze data to answer questions now you are having the data and you will be learning how to organize data for analysis and discover processes for formatting and adjusting data learn how to complete calculations using sql queries so you will be having multiple mathematical uh, derivations to be drawn from the data set which you'll be having so you will be using these tools such as sql excel to generate these kind of analysis into a very much good manner now coming to course number six you will be um, they'll be teaching you tabloid into this into this course so you'll be doing some visualization techniques building pie charts bar graphs scatter plots and multiple charts of this kind so they'll be teaching this particular thing you're now coming to the my favorite thing and that is the learning a programming language so they'll be teaching the r programming language into the course number seven and uh, this will help you into getting a much more better perspective and uh, I love the best part of doing data analysis is learning a programming languages and definitely if you find this very much interesting analytics field is made for you because everything boils down to programming and you need to generate good visualization good analysis with the help of the programming languages and at the end of the course you will be given an opportunity to prepare your own analysis so you are having this capstone project google data analytics capstone project so you'll be doing a case study so you'll be given an opportunity to collect data uh, clean the data good uh, analysis from the data and create uh, visualizations and that would be reviewed by the team and you'll be given marks on to that so friends this is the best part because you're learning the skills all the skills from course number one to seven and then you are applying all these skills into the last course and that would decide whether you will be able to make a transition to the data analytics profile or not now this particular courses they all will be bought by the google data analyst who are working there so let us look at some of the FEQs which would help you so what is the certification course so I am right now in India so it in India it costs around 1044 but you definitely have the financial aid option and you can get this course ultimately for free so you don't need to spend any amount of so is this program offered in other languages and it is only available in English what back is do you require any background knowledge or not so you don't require any background knowledge of this uh, while you're pursuing this course so you might 
be from any field and you can uh, do this course simultaneously do you i need to take this course into a specific order you it is recommended by google to take all the courses into a specific order because that would help you to learn all the skills into a systematic way and then you can apply all these skills into the capstone project so also they are they have aligned all the uh, the courses into a beginner level perspective and then they are moving towards the advanced concepts so that is the best part and what resources which will be available in the into the job search process now this particular course this is made to make you job ready to make you transition to the data analytics job profile so you'll be having access to multiple resources on how to prepare your, your resume how to give interviews they'll be giving some workshops career coaching sessions that would help you to make a good transition to data analytics profiles friends and this is the good overview on to the google data analytics certification course now uh, i had promised that i'll be giving the best tips for you to follow along this course if you want to make a transition the very first thing is uh, you go you learn learn a course uh, and then you jump over the course number 2 no this should not happen you should learn the concepts and practice all the concepts simultaneously then only you will get to know a better picture of what is the tool is telling to you to do or how the tool is helping you to do the data analysis friends so, this was the very first thing very first tip you now the second tip is don't only rely on to this uh, course era material or the google material which they are providing do explore from your end also on to the youtube there are multiple channels who are providing some good content to go and explore read blogs also because they will be help you to get much more knowledgeable and you can simultaneously follow this particular course also because uh, this is a self paced course you can follow it along comfortability now coming to the alternatives to this course so i made a video on to the ibm data analytics professional certification course so ibm is a tech giant they also provide this data analytics certification course. course on to the course era also they have the same price and multiple things they match but there are some kind of differences so whether you should be taking the ibm or the google data analytics certification course you can check out this video and that would give an idea to you now friends uh, so there are some alternatives you can go to this particular course go and explore get the content site i made a detailed video on to the ibm data analytics certification course also you can check out that video and also you can go and explore on to the course era uh, or the udemy different uh, websites or youtube uh, for different kind of tutorial videos so friends i hope you like this particular video please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel in the in next videos till then thank you so much bye